for our second round. Hoodies versus crew nets. And Adam, I think we'll let you uh, start this. I was present at the invention of the crew neck in 1712. It was the shirt that we used on ancient sailing ships of yore. The way that you wore it was around your neck, which was an innovation of the time. Up until then, crew necks, and shirts for that matter, were worn around your ankles, leading to widespread exposure and death and scurry on the high Just seas. Just a minute, hoodies cover you more thoroughly. Audience, do they? Yeah. Not at all, Adam, continue! Hoodies, of course, are hooligans in the Unique K. Just a minute of hesitation! That was a hesitation, Carl. I use my hoodies so I can sneak discreetly into other countries and steal their antiquities. <laughs> it is a little odd. Emily, go on. Therefore, Adam's point was proved. And in fact, hoodies are representative of hooligans, and Carl is one such. Just a minute! I don't like hooligans. <laughs> do I, Andrew? Go on. Crew neck. One minute. Oh, the optimum thing to put on your body. As proved before, I am a hooligan, and I take offense to that. <laughs> Congratulations, Andrew. Continue. Crew necks are so valuable that then you can place your collars outside of the crew neck, looking quite fashionable. <laughs> and then as you walk down the street, people will look at you and say. Mm, high class, and you'll say yes, pull out your pipe, light it, and. He did very poorly, Emily. <laughs> Thank you. 
popular by the Emperor Trajan, who used to beat Just the Just a minute! <laughs> Wasn't it Caesar? It, it, it was. Emily, go on. <laughs>
He moans occasionally. <laughs> I need to kill him. <laughs> Wish existed for you to be in, but never did. Verbi appreciation. 